South Africa Home Mafia Minister Dr. Rion Schreiber brings 11,000 highly skilled employees from Europe to South Africa to work in South Africa Home Affairs. 11,000 highly skilled Europeans will be, will be coming here to work as the employees of Home Affairs in South Africa. Obviously, that is a slap for South African citizens or South Africans who have been working in Home Affairs. Those who are really skilled, those South African who are work, who have been working in Home Affairs for long, before COVID, that time, anyone who is a foreigner gonna know, knows what I'm talking about. These people were skilled. These people were highly skilled. They were doing their jobs. As a foreigner, I know they give us papers. Yes, they did. And they were doing good job. So I don't know why South Africa Minister, Dr. Leon Schreiber, have to bring 11,000. He's saying highly skilled employees for home affairs is a slab really for real south africans those who are working in home affairs those who have been working in home affairs and those who are working even now for home affairs is a slab for their face for the minister to bring europeans highly skilled as he's calling it highly skilled home affairs employees Let's go back to, to those, th those people who have been giving papers, who have been working in home affairs, who are maybe retired or who are still there working for home affairs for 20 years, 15 years. I know there is. There is home affairs uh, office officials who have been working in home affairs for over 20 years, over 15 years, over 10 years. And those one two, those, those, those retired or those who have been staying in South Africa in home affairs for long, who have been giving papers for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, because I know there is officials who are who have been working for South African home affairs for 20 years. Those ones have been training other ones. You know, other ones who are the time they have been officials, they have been working there as officials. They were training others, and others have been training others. South Africa, let me ask you. So those who have been trained with those old ones, the officials, so where did they go? Those who have been trained, those who are, let's say, from maybe, maybe 2010 to 2020 after, uh, before COVID, those who are, who are been, and those who are skilled because they have been working with vampires for long. So those who are, where will they go? Where will they call those ones? Because they are also highly skilled because they got experience. You know, where will they go? Which home affairs they're going to go to work? Because this one is bringing, this Minister Schreiber is bringing those Europeans employees to South Africa. Where? Where? Where is those South African employees, officials, home affairs officials, where will they go? Because they will be replaced. You see, we are coming back to, to, to losing jobs. You see, we're back to square one for South African losing their job on their eyes, in front of their eyes. South African, really South African losing their job in front of their eyes. Imagine, because of a foreign, because of me, uh, Leon Schreiber, a minister of home affairs, bringing those those skilled employees. Where will they fit in as a South African officials, home affairs official? Where will they go? They'll be they'll be out of work because they'll be replaced by these foreigners, these foreign white officials. They'll be replaced. Where will they go? Public. Let me ask you public as a South Africans. Where will these employees go? Why is he doing this to South Africa? And the South Africans, there is no jobs. They are saying there is no jobs. The jobs have been taken by foreigners. Now, one of your ministers is bringing those foreigners here to work. So, who is taking your job? 
your job is taken regularly and the one who is bringing those foreigners to work is your minister is the minister of south africa not even a foreigner black foreigner who is coming is is a minister who is recruiting those white foreigners uh, highly skilled to come to work in south africa that's not fair for south africans those who are those who got to experience as a as a as a as a home affairs officials, where will they go? And to make the matter worse, these people who have been brought up in South Africa to work for home affairs, they have been they are using the government or this minister is using the taxes for South Africa the tax for South Africa to recruit those people because they, they can't come for Mahala, they can't come from, come for just for nothing. There's money which is being taken from South Africa to there so they can be recruited. They have to come to regularize them. They have to get for them apartments. They have to get the, the families, the school for the families, the kids. These people have to come with their families. It's, it's on South African tax. It's you guys as a South African who are being used to take these people from where they come from to bring them here and to accommodate them and to legalize them. Everything is South African money. That is South African tax, tax, your tax. Yeah, that, it's the one they are using. It's the one they are using to bring all these foreigners than to use South African experience South Africans home affairs officials to continue with this job to continue with whatever they have they have they have been doing hmm? why public let me ask you why is he bringing this up why south africa are losing losing jobs there is no jobs in south africa hello there is no jobs but he is bringing people from outside calling them high skilled it's not fair. It's a slap for South Africans. Especially, it's, it's a slap for South African home affairs officials, those who have been in home affairs, those who have experience. You know, as I said before, there's home affairs officials who have been working in home affairs for decades. They know what it means for... They know what is meaning of dealing with foreigners in foreigners as a black black foreigners in home affairs they know they know the line they know they know a lot of things you know they know how to deal with african because they know african themselves you know i don't know you tell me public a south african public what do you think about that as a south africans what do you think about that as a South Africans? It seems like South Africa are, is still colonized, you know, because the whites are still coming. They establish restaurants, they, they establish companies, they establish a lot of things. And when they come immediately, they get legalized. Most of them, they become South Africa within one week, within two weeks, within a month. And they establish their companies, they establish their restaurants, you know, and they are legalized fast, 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 fast. While black African countries, black, while black from African countries, they are just, you know, they just stay without papers. You have to, you have to wake up early to go to home affairs to get that paper, a paper. You have to line. For the whole day, sometimes you go two days, you don't get papers because they are like this. Huh? Yet, whites are coming and get legalized just like this. Yeah. South Africa is still colonized. What do you think, public? South Africa is still colonized. Yes. It's still colonized. South Africa is still being colonized silently. Silently colonized being colonized 
is still colonized silently. Mm, let's say that public. But frankly, South African government are to blame because they are the ones who are bringing those foreigners to work in South Africa. Why well, they know that they, they got people who can work in that home affairs very well. Uh, that, that's the government problem. Because they are the ones who are going to recruit those foreigners to bring them to work for home affairs. And yet they are European. What do they know about Africans? What do they know about Africans? Those people. Those people, Europeans. White men. What do they know about African? Africans? They are bringing them to work for, for South Africa. While South Africa themselves, they are crying for jobs. They are every day. Foreigners taking our jobs. Every day, they are crying for these jobs. And yet, South African government got the guts to bring foreign whites high skilled workers to deal with home affairs to deal to serve african people from african countries not even south africans to deal with africa people from african countries in south africa white people to deal with black from other african country in south africa yeah, that's what they want, your government. They don't want you to deal with foreigners as a black South African to black African countries. They want white to deal with foreigners from other African countries. That's what they are. That's what they want to tell us. Yeah. That, that is their stand. Hmm? We don't know as South African home affairs as a blacks you fail you defend South African home affairs that's why they are bringing foreigners white foreigners to work in home affairs public what do you think did South African black home affairs officials failed South African system to serve other uh, black to serve foreigners in home affairs we don't know why are they bringing white foreigners to work in South African home affairs to deal with black people from African countries in South Africa why I believe myself that South Africa can do this job. I believe myself that South Africans can do this job because they have been doing it for over 20 years, more than 20 years. They know foreigners. They know how to deal with foreigners. Those home affairs officials, they know how to deal with foreigners. Let me tell you. They know how to deal with foreigners. Those black South Africans. They have been there. They was experienced. They have been there dealing with foreigners one by one. Hmm? How many years they have been there? For this Minister of Home Affairs to bring these white people, Europeans, 11,000 Europeans to come to, to cover up South African officials, South African Home Affairs officials, hmm? to lose their jobs. To use lot of money, to use lot of money to bring them here in South Africa, accommodation, school for their kids, make them comfortable as they can because they are from outside country to make them comfortable and they are, they are, they are employees so they have to make them comfortable in the country so they are paid nicely with what South African taxi. While that takes must be used in South Africa with South Africans officials to use that money. They could have that money they are using that lot of money. It could be for South Africans, the officials, the home affairs officials. If it's to train them, they can if he see that they don't fit to be in home affairs officials offices, 
but I know they got experience. Maybe they, he could consider to tra to train them again if he feel that it they don't they don't they don't have that standard as he wish. Maybe he could train them, or yeah, maybe it could be option than to bring those eleven thousand employees from Europe. Maybe it could be option to, to retrain those one who have got experience. Maybe if it don't fit, maybe if they don't fit his standard, maybe he could consider train, retrain. But I don't think they need training those officials. Officials, uh, officials the, but I don't think home affairs officials, they need training. Maybe to refresh them, but these people, they know how to do it for foreigners. Black foreigners, they know. They have been dealing with them over decades. So, South African public, what do you think about that? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.